Welcome back, everyone, to another segment of The MCR, Mac and Me. My name's TJ in my red flannel shirt. In this segment, we're going to touch on a, a cultural issue, a, a forward slash political issue uh, involving music. And uh, Mac, being a lover of country music. Uh, Big time. Yeah, he, 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 he's. He lives to listen to a good country jam, let me tell you. (laughs) In the past, uh, we've talked about uh, uh, different issues involving country music. Uh, Morgan Wallen, uh, who got in trouble, who in a drunken stupor used a racial slur, not too dissimilar from the manner in which it's used within that culture, I would tell you. But Mm -hmm. the politically correct crowd went after Morgan Wallen. And Morgan Wallen became one of the biggest acts in country. Well, then, some uh, some are allowed to use racial slurs and others are not. Yeah. And then a few months passed. And then we had Jason Aldean, who released a song, Try That in a Small Town. And, they, and the politically correct crowd, the leftists, the progressives, tried to accuse Jason Aldean of being a racist. Uh, when, in fact, his music video contained uh white people also committing acts of crime because that's that's pretty much that was pretty much uh uh the message in that video is uh don't don't we all know that when you show white people you really mean black people oh yeah and you know what and they about wanted to say that too uh then then not too long ago you had the issue with uh, luke combs doing a cover of tracy chapman who, and I didn't know this until it became a really big deal. I mean, I knew Tracy Chapman was black, but I did not know that she was also a lesbian until it became such a such an issue that Luke Combs had done a cover of her fast car. Now, to tell you how how uh, offensive Tracy Chapman responded, she did a duet with Luke Combs. At the Grammy Awards, <laughs> I, I want to tell you just a few months ago, and, and, and I'll and I'll tell you this too. Luke Combs dressed up for that too. He did not wear what he normally wears when he when he does a concert. That that guy was that guy was looking spiffy up on stage with Tracy Chapman. Okay, and to a little backstory on that one, uh, the reason why Luke Combs so much liked. Uh, Fast Car was that was one of the first songs he learned to play on the guitar when he as he was learning to play the guitar. Uh, Tracy Chapman felt honored that that he successfully did a did a remake of her song. OK, I only go down this list because it, it country music seems to be an easy target of the left. And and here here we go again. Beyonce. Now, if if you're into the hip hop scene, you know who Beyonce is. And you're probably already aware that she put out just she just released, I want to say a week or so ago, she released a hardcore country song. I've listened to it. There is no synthesized music. There's she starts it off with banjo music. This is a bona fide, legitimate country song. And if you didn't know it was her, you wouldn't suspect it was her. Okay. And it, and I'll tell you right now, given credit where credit's due, it's it's more of a country genre song, a sound, than some of the country music uh, that's being put out nowadays. You know? Okay. Uh, it's... Uh, it's mind blowing. And and I don't quite understand who's really pushing this, but there's a little bit of hubbub about Beyonce and country music. Some years ago, and I think it was back in 2016, during the CMAs, Beyonce got up got up on stage with the Dixie Chicks and did a song. And you know what? One of the knocks on it was it wasn't a country song. It was something, uh, and in the front row, Mike, Mac, do you know who Alan Jackson is? Yes. Alan Jackson was in the front row and in the middle of their song, got up and walked out. 
And if you know anything about Alan Jackson and and his country music that he performs, he's pretty much a purist. OK. Uh, and if you know the history of the Dixie Chicks. Well, I do. I, yeah. I would suggest to Beyonce, you might want to consider who you choose to associate with, because right. I'm not so sure he was protesting Beyonce as much as he was the Dixie Chicks. You know what I mean? Oh, I would think so, actually. That and, would be my and, assumption. Yeah. And so, you know what? If if you're going to associate with the Dixie Chicks, you know, be forewarned, I would tell you. OK, right. uh, but but back to Beyonce's song. I've listened to it a good few times. I've watched the video a few times, and it's a pretty good song. Uh, I, uh, in right right now, I think it's at number one on the country charts, or you know, as far as the most listened to country song, and 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 there is uh, pretty well accepted. This is going to be one of the most popular line dance songs. I don't do country line dance. You're gonna, never going to see me out there stomping around. Even though well, you better not, you better not let me see you. <laughs> you know that's where you see all the pretty girls out there line line dancing, there will right? Hell to pay if I see that. But uh, this song, they they they, the, you know the the uh, country uh, uh, genre uh, commentators, whatever you want, whatever they want to call themselves, it's it's their belief this is going to become a very popular line dance song in the country genre. Well, I'm uh, confused. If it's people who like country music are such racist, why why would they listen to this song? Ah, therein lies the dilemma. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my point. <laughs> uh, it's just uh, some of these people, I don't think they know how to react. You know, how can these rednecks make her put her song at the, at the top of the charts? You well, know? I'll, I'll quote you from many years ago when we had an employee who was did something that was not very bright. You told him, you got to learn how to think outside the box or get a bigger box. Well, they need a bigger box. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. That's for sure. Uh, yeah. Also on this uh, new album of hers, she did a remake of Dolly Parton's Jolene. And I, heard about, I did hear about that one. Yeah. And Dolly Parton. Uh, spoke very favorably of the song. I've listened to that song too. It's pretty good, and and it's country. The thing about this Beyonce album is it's country. It's none of this electronic synthesized junk. Okay, well, you know, I, I I think very few would would say that this young lady isn't isn't a skilled singer. Oh, she most certainly is. And she's easy on the eyes too, bringing me to my next point. Yes. I've watched this video a few times. I would give her music video a PG 13 rating. Okay. And by that, I mean, she's not going to have any problems snagging herself a cowboy. <laughs> no, I would think not. <laughs> but you, you watch the video of, man, she's, she's, you know what? Dare I, dare I appear to be a dirty old man, but, uh, uh, it's it's a it's a good song. It's a good song. Uh, this is this is just a continuation. I don't know if people realize it, but but there's other black country singers out there that are doing rather well. Of course, Kane there are. Brown. Yeah, Kane Brown. And and I guess you could say technically he's mixed, but if you're mixed, then you're not white. You know how that goes. Right. But Kane Brown has done some very good songs.